Hi, welcome to my shoemaking channel. I am preparing new shoemaking tutorial for you, so I need your help to know which one, which tutorial you will want to see next time. I have few options, so let me know which one you will want to see next time. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video course. Now, before we'll start, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel because here you will find everything about shoemaking. Everything, I mean, from pattern making till finished pair of shoes. Option number one. This is tutorial on how to make peep toe at home with minimum set of tools. This is the great tutorial where I show, I teach how to make easily peep toe, peep toe is the shoes with the open toes here, working on palm blast and make it very easy with minimum tools, non-professional tools, tools that you can find at your local store. So I want to upgrade this tutorial to explain few important things because unlike my courses where I explain everything step by step, this tutorial without my explanation, I just showing the process because I made this tutorial many years ago when I just started to make shoemaking tutorials. So I want to upgrade it for you so you will know few important details in making peep toe and you will know how to make this simple classic peep toe shoes by yourself at home. Option number two. This is tutorial on how to upgrade any shoe design. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create folds inside any footwear design, inside pump shoes, maybe sandals or Oxford shoes. You can use this technique in making any footwear type. This tutorial is also one of my oldest tutorial without my explanation. So I want to make clear on few details so you will know how to use this technique, how to make folds inside any footwear type. And you can do it with minimum set of tools by yourself at home. Option number three. Recently, one of my students from my online shoemaking courses, one year program, asked me a question. She already made many beautiful shoes, but now she has a problem. The fact is that in my bespoke derby course, I teach how to customize shoe last according fit measurements, but she has something different. She bought shoe last in some place and she likes the toe shape, but the shoeless is too long and she wants to make it shorter from the back part of the shoeless. And this information is very important. And if you are beginner in shoemaking and want to make shoes, in some point you will need to know this too. So that's why I decided to show how to shorten shoeless from the back part of the shoeless keeping the shape of the original shoe last. It's very important to know how to do it, to have very comfortable shoe last and of course very comfortable footwear made on this shoe last. So here are three options for you to vote. Please comment below and vote for your option. Now I want to summarize all these options. First one is the tutorial on how to make peep toe from pattern making till finished pair of shoes step by step. Second option is tutorial on how to upgrade any footwear design working with folds. Number three is the process on how to shorten your shoe last from the back part to keep the entire shape as it is. It's very important if you want to have comfortable and beautiful shoes. If you are new to this channel, please join us and subscribe to this channel because here you will learn how to make shoes for free. 
Also, don't forget to click the bell button to know when my new video will come out. So, I am waiting for you. Vote and see you in the next time. Thank you. Bye.